Hello guys, it's Tracker Man. Welcome back to another video, man. So today we're going to be talking about Manchester City versus uh, Watford in the Premier League, man. So City, man, pretty much um, four points ahead of Liverpool. Liverpool do have a, a game in hand. I'm not sure who Liverpool going to play tomorrow, but that game is very important to them tomorrow, man. People are talking about like oh, Liverpool have a lot of pressure on them. They have more pressure on them than ever before, man, because that has to be a must win. Um, I think if it's not a big team, and I think Liverpool should be able to win them because Liverpool have a very good squad, they have a good coach, they, they should be able to win that game, man. But you never know, man. This is football. But uh, City is in the driving seat, it's not over yet. Um, even if City, um, Liverpool lose tomorrow, draw tomorrow, it's not over until the season ends, man, because you know anything could happen. Uh, this is football. City could lose. Liverpool could go on a winning streak. You never know. Liverpool probably go on a losing streak if they don't win tomorrow and just give up. But you never know, man. But uh, good win by uh, City, man. Pretty much Ryan Sterling winning, man. The ex-Liverpool uh, player coming back to haunt them. Ryan Sterling scoring his first um, hat-trick since 2015. I'm not sure who, who he was playing for in 2015. I'm not sure if it was City or uh, Liverpool, man. But um great win for uh city city are, um are pretty much on the on the road right now aguero he was um very um involved in the game man but nothing really came out of it didn't really do too much um watford didn't really have it man they didn't really have it um they got dominated by city city had way more possession they had way more shots uh, pretty much was a one-sided game, man. Other than Delifo goal, I don't think they had a shot on. Don't, I think that was their only shots on target, really. Um, City, I think City was rushing. The, City plays with rushing the passes. A lot of the passes was not really uh, getting to the plays. It was like too far ahead of the play, too long or too high, and uh, the players just couldn't get up to him, especially the winger like Morris and Sterling and uh, we're all top man. So the midfield, I don't think the midfield. Um, what was they, they they did a good job but their passes wasn't really connecting same with the the left back the, the, the full back and the left back i don't think they were um up to par uh, uh zanchenko a lot of his passes was just to rush no really direct passes and um uh, yeah other than defending he didn't really contribute anything to the attack um really and uh yeah and city was their attacking players was getting caught offside a lot too uh, Sterling scored a scored pretty much scored opening goal, but it was ruled offside because they was getting called offside. Same with Aguero. Uh, the first official goal by Sterling in the uh, 40, I want to say 45th, 46 minute, um, was kind of happy because um, pretty much uh, I'm not sure who passed the ball to Aguero. The ball bounced off Aguero chest and uh, went to and uh, I believe. Uh, uh, Jan Mott, John Mott, or whatever his name is, was trying to uh, block the ball, uh, touched it, and it went to certain. Certainly, were able to um, cross it into the goal and score the opening goal. But yes, I, I believe Aguero was offside, and so once he offside, I think the uh, linesman should have all of his um, his flag and was offside. Man. But um, it hit uh, John Mott, and the uh, referee was like, "Okay," because Sterling was in an offside position, so it hit John Mott, and uh, the referee just allowed it. So. Um, I don't think it should have been a count as a goal, man, but I do understand why it counted as a goal. But both of those players was off, offside. Sterling and Aguirre was offside. But that really didn't matter because Sterling scored like uh, a few minutes later, later on with um, uh, with uh, Morris crossing the ball uh, in front of goal. I'm surprised nobody really tried to intercept that or the goalkeeper got to it. Uh, but Ryan Stern was on the far post and just tapped it in, scoring the second goal. And uh, it was Ryan Sterling again like four minutes later on. Sorry, nine minutes later on in the 59 minute, um, scoring the third goal and a uh, great goal by uh, Sterling. Pretty much got inside the box, dribbled past a few uh, goal uh, defenders and a slide in. Man, great skill by Ryan Sterling to score that quality play. Man, I think Ryan Sterling definitely one of the top five uh, play right now in the Premier League. Definitely the best play from eight for uh, uh, English play right now. You could you could say Harry Kane is doing good. Same with uh, Rashford, but I think uh, Sterling is a, a, a is on a better form than. Those guys right now, but time will tell. Uh, let me know what you think about Ryan Sterling, man. Is he a top five in Premier League? Uh, top five player in Premier League? Let me know. As I said, man, Aguero looked very frustrated in front of goal. Didn't do too much. Uh, Mars was very impressive, man. Um, assisted in that uh, Sterling second goal. I think it was a threat throughout the game. Uh, David Silva, Bernardo Silva was, was solid, man. Very good game by them. Gundogan was very solid, too. Great passes by him, too. Some of his passes, as I said, um, was too heavy and it, it wasn't really 
um, getting get into the plays or it was too far ahead of the plays. Uh, defense was all right. Company looks company is a quality player, so it looks very good. Uh, Walker, uh, the the fullback, I was not impressed by the fullback. Uh, Edison didn't do too much, and the one one um really threatening um uh, threatening goal, one threatening ball by him. I mean, one is one um really uh the one time that he really needed defended um uh, he were able to he, he didn't do that he conceded a goal with um Delafo getting the ball in the 65th minute and we're able to uh beat the defense uh Ottoman pretty much really played wrong and uh the ball handed by Delafo foot one on one with the goalkeeper Ederson and we're able to shoot a, shoot that shoot that goal and score the um opening goal man. so uh opening goal for Watford at least uh so good game by um by City man, City looking very good. I'm not sure who they're gonna play next. Uh, I'm not sure what. I know they gotta play Tottenham next. I'm not sure who else they gotta play next man. So I know Liverpool have to play like two top team, but City only have to play one uh top team next man. So uh, should be a very interesting title race man. I think City, me personally, I think City's gonna win the league and uh, more than likely gonna win the league by a good amount of point man. But who knows man? Time will tell. Let me know what you think about my thoughts on the game. So yes, yeah, City dominated possession with uh seventy one percent, and um Watford at like nineteen uh twenty nine percent uh ball possession, which is just like a small amount. Like what you gonna do with that? Even on the counter attack, it wasn't even good, man. City pretty City, City pretty much living uh Watford half in the first half and second half, man. Just total domination. Uh, shots City at nineteen shots. Watford only had two shots, one on target. City had uh, 19 shots, 9 on target. The subs, Foden came on, didn't do, didn't do too much. Same with uh, Sonny. Pretty much Sonny was uh, very, very poor in general. Uh, Jay Seuss didn't do too much. And, uh, yeah, so that was the game, man. So let me know anything about the title race, man. Uh, what Liverpool do and uh, how City do, man. Me, personally, as I said, man, City is going to win the league, man. But like, subscribe with that, you boys out of here.